What's up, everybody? It's your boy Josh with MOK Magic TG, and uh, today we're gonna crack the first of a couple cases um, of Double Masters regular booster boxes. Um, I'm not cracking this entire case in this one video. Um, I will crack these boosters though, and not not all of these in this video, but I will crack all these boxes. In a couple different videos, and we will see what kind of spiciness ensues. I've got another case of standard boosters on the way, as well as oh, well, we got a box and a box. So hang on, I'm gonna have to take this to the floor for a sec. Um, so I have a uh, another case of standard boosters on the way, and then I have another case oh, okay half cases all right and then i have another case of uh vip on the way so we'll see what kind of spiciness is there i'm telling you those uh those other videos were pretty spicy i think i've only got one up at the moment i'll have a second vip up soon probably after i post at least one of these i'll probably do one vip one regular one vip one regular kind of mix it up like that um, there we go. So let's open this one first. We'll go to the left. So, um, I have not opened a single one of these yet. We will be experiencing this together. Uh, I've also not seen a single box opening of these on, uh, online. So I haven't watched Rudy or Joey Moss or, or anybody else open one. Uh, this is going to be a true, true first experience. Which doesn't happen very often anymore. A lot of times I've already seen other people open them online as I'm waiting for my stuff to come in the mail because all those guys and gals get their stuff early. So uh, so here we go. So let's take a look. We've got the box in a box. Ooh. Ooh. Blacked out. Double Masters box topper. So we'll come back to that. Fun. Spiciness, hopefully spicy. Um, let's see, a couple things as we get this ready to go. Um, as of this video, I am over 50 subs, so I finally hit that goal. Thank you to all of you MOKers that have made it happen. And um, know that the giveaway, I do have a video up right now, where the giveaway for that Shards of Alar Premium Booster uh, Pack, it's underway. So for the next week, you can... Um, you can guess what MOK stands for in MOK Magic TG, and if you're one of the correct guesses, then you'll name, your name will go into a random name picker, and I'll pick and give it away from there. So more on that at the end of the video, but here we go. Let's get into this, this good stuff. So these are my first packs. It's weird getting double, double masters. It's not foil after opening so many uh, foil boosters, but let's see what we get. I'm curious if there's going to be any uh, ink stamping, any of those issues that I've seen on some misprints. Chromatic Star is pretty cool. Um, that I've seen in uh, in some of the other videos. Fatal Push is nice. Oh, hey, Path to Exile. All right, all right. We got a little Mana Reflection and a Champion. Oh, oh. So okay. I know I've read this a million times, but I guess because it's my first time opening. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight commons. We have our standard one, two, three uncommons. We have two rares. And then we have two foils with a regular token. Um, foil Fatal Push is pretty nice. And a Rush of Knowledge. So, uh, okay, okay. Let's do them that way. All right. So, you know, these are supposed to be twice as nice. These necessarily aren't twice the price because they're pretty much the same price as a normal uh, Master's Edition. You know, a couple hundred dollars, but the uh, VIPs, woo! Uh, we're looking at twice the price and uh, sometimes twice as nice. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Springleaf Drum. Henda. Clone Shell. All right. We got the regular art meddling mage. Oh, right out, right off the rip, 
we get the crypt. I'll take it. Um, we got some rage from Super Amateur Stamina. I mean, I, I just, wow. All right, that's a great, great mythic to kick off my very first uh, booster box of Double Masters. All right, here we go. Let's see. Orcish Vandal. Fierce Empath. Battle Rattle Shaman. All right, we're going to Chromatic Star again. And all right. All right, nice land cycle, Flooded Grove, Duplicant, Wah. Metallic Rebuke, Crushing Mines. So I'm curious, just because I've seen no videos or anything, so I don't know. I'm curious if you can pop, I would imagine you could pop a Foil Rare or a Foil Mythic in one of those slots. Um, based on what my guys at the LGS said too, I would imagine you could pop some of the uh, alt art, full art, borderless stuff in here as well. So. We'll see what we get there. All right, all right. Moving along, moving along. Got some nice gauntlets. All right. And I normally would just skip straight to the end, but there are actually some decent uncommons and stuff. Eh. Okay, even though uh, they're not foil. I think mostly, well, you know, I say decent. Actually, I take that back. I don't know if any of these, I'd have to look. I don't know if any of these that are non-foil uh, commons uncommons carry any real value there's a braid used to used to be a dollar or so by itself hers is mine love it all right let's see what we got in the uncommons here okay okay all right all right little avi action we got a little avison angel of hope here that's a nice another mythic a little reese the redeemed we got some Fortify, some Pie Wild Shaman action going on. All right, all right. I mean, you know, I mean, compared to a normal Master set, I really like this. I mean, you're, you're getting twice the Foilies. You're getting twice the Rares of Mythics. Um, I mean, I like it. I think this is going to do well. Uh, I've only opened one, you know, box so far, but we'll see after I open a couple more, you know, to make sure there's not... Uh, anything crazy going on man that's a couple good uncommons there we got another uh, another land cycle here sunken ruins sweet ah the old vampire noble falcon wrath aristocrat I used to have a vamp deck built around some of this ah rapacious dragon and the accomplished automaton so we haven't really gotten anything crazy in the foil slot yet uh, I mean obviously a foil foil fatal push and uh, I can't remember if I had a path foil or if that was a regular path but anyways I mean there's been some okay stuff but I mean nothing nothing crazy all right that takes care of that thopter pinted ash barons all right adaptive automaton grand architect brainstorm it's funny to see some of the regular versions of these considering that has a borderless Showcase. All right, here we go. Third of the way there. Gonna move through these a little bit faster. I'm just looking to see if there's any uh, misprints that I can see. Um, since this is my first box opening of non-foil stuff, the misprints I saw was in the foils. Uh, Vexing Susher. Hey, Walking Ballista. That's a pretty decent one. Death Hood Cobra. Bloodshot Trainee. Um, it was in the foils that I saw them so far. Uh, what I had misprints of was double stamping of the text. Um, I've seen other people with all kinds of different misprints, but I've only seen it in foils and it was only in commons. So that's all I've had so far. Clear shot. Power plant. All right. Disciple of the vault. Flicker Wisp I used to play with. Ad nauseum. Oh, hey, old Jorah. Got the magnifying glass and a welding jar. A welding jar, I think it's a dollar or so. So, a couple decent little foil commons and uncommons so far. Uh, other than hitting that mana crypt, though, I mean, nothing super, super spicy just yet. Another power plant. 
Let's see here. Engineered explosives. Man, I remember that held that held like twenty, twenty-five dollars forever. I don't know, it may even still be. I haven't had a reason to look at that card in a while. Alright. Peace Strider. Esprozoa. But uh engineered explosives have gotta still be decent, I would think, unless because it's reprinted it dropped. I haven't paid real close attention to the prices of the singles of this set just yet because they're going to be all over the place the first week or two until they, until they settle down a little bit. All right. Old Alabaster Mage. Got the Culling Day. The old Bath Salt Monolith. The Thirst for Knowledge. And Awakening Zone. Hey, Noble High Arc's a good rare, or at least it used to be. Until it, unless if it's being reprinted into Oblivion is driving it down, but I know the Noble High Art um, Foil Borderless is pretty decent, so I don't know if just plain old Noble High Art still does it. Alright. Expedition Map. Buried Ruin. And Obulet. Pure Steel Paladin. Hey! Hey, hey! So, you know, Lightning Axe, that's pretty cool. Um, so we got Sword of Body and Mind, pretty nice there. Uh, there we go, a little bit better. Like I said, i got to work on the focus still, but it's better than it going in and out like it used to. So it's just kind of weird after opening VIP boxes how you get a little spoiled by those full art borderless foilies. Because, I mean, you know, popping a crypt and a sword, you would think normally... You know, you should be pretty uh, pretty pumped, but it's just hard to get pumped after opening that other stuff. But, you know, like I said, though, still, you know, I got, I averaged two ninety nine on my pricing on these. So, you know, $300, uh, not bad, Lightning Greaves, Master Splicer I used to play with, too. Um, you know, it's, a, it's pretty much the going rate for a uh, Master's set, even though they said they'd never print. Another master set last time when they did Ultimate Masters, but you know, you know how that goes, right? Twice as nice, twice the price. Actually, I haven't shoot more than twice the price. 20 times the price. All right, here we go. That looked really dark for a sec. Urza's Tower, nice, nice. I really love the fact they printed the Urza Lands again. That's pretty cool. Throne of Geth. Let's see what we got here. Open the vaults. Council's judgment. Ancient stirrings. I think's a dollar. Thought I saw a line in that. All right, we're past the halfway point. And I mean, you know, it's a good box. A good box. Cast down. Take it. All right, all right. Moving along. Moving along. I went too far. There we go. Try to keep these separated. Hey, hey, hitting the Landy's Wrath of God. Man, I remember that card when I was like 10 years old. Uh, hey, well, that answers that question. There is a foil rare, Sunken Ruins. I'll stick it there. So uh, I don't know if you still just average one foil rare a box or, or what. So I guess we'll... We'll see as we open more of these sort of the pull rates are. There's ours is mine. Yeah, I, I, Wrath of God. Such a cool card. Uh, I used to be so happy, like people, I'd be playing against my friends, my buddies, and they'd usually, one of my buddies in particular would pay, play, a, um, play an aggro. Uh, whoa, okay. Uh, Maybe it's just because I haven't seen it in this set yet being printed, but that just looks really dark on the blue. Then again, maybe because I'm used to seeing foils and everything. I don't know. Uh, but that's that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. And Maze of Ith. Um, Iron Bully. Chromatic Star. Pretty sweet foils there. Uh, so I used to play one of my buddies when I was a kid, and he, uh, he loved to play aggro red. So, you know, before you know it, you'd have an army of red goblins coming at you. And so... Bah, Wrath of God. Goodbye. Also, when I was a kid, AOL and the internet was a new thing. So, you know, you sign off, you know, goodbye. That's what I would say when I dropped Wrath of God on him. Goodbye. 
And then sometimes when I would bluff him, I didn't have Wrath of God, but I'd I'd say that, and he'd know that's no, normally what I'd say when I have Wrath of God, and he'd get so upset. So uh, it's been a long time since I've had that memory. Hey, Thoughtseize, pretty sweet. All right, Mazarek. It's been a long time since I've had that memory. So that's the cool thing about Magic, uh, particularly for those who played or have played for a long time. It's just memories, memories, memories. Now I don't have time for those new memories. I just get to have fun doing this and investing. Uh, do, 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 moving right along. And survey says, got the old Citadel. Hey, hey, masterwork of ingenuity. We've got Koldatha, Orcish Vandal, and some gauntlets. A couple packs left to crack. We're at four Mythics, so uh, I think, given it's my first one, I don't know. I've seen no videos online, so I don't know if we're doing good or bad. But uh, we'll see. I mean, four mythics is pretty solid. You know, three to five is typically the average. So but this is also sorry, just heard my computer. Uh, Thespian stage got the old bandit warlord. Um, that's also normally on thirty-six packs. Oh, that's a rare. I was just uh, seeing that blood spore thrinax. Okay, so. Um, I don't know until I open another box if two is the norm or if it's just been lucky or, or what. Last couple packs. All right. Shaman, Nick, Revelation Avenger of Zendikar. Okay, well, there's five. I mean, we posted a video a while back of, uh, okay, of, uh, how many mythics do you normally get? And I always said three to five is average. So, you know, if there's not another mythic in these four packs, you know, I mean, five's on the high side of average, obviously. When we did the uh, the openings of core 21 uh, pre-release kits and definitely saw a higher pull rate there. But I'd say five out of 24 packs is pretty solid. I mean, granted, it is a master's edition, costs more, so there should be, you know, some better pull rates. Hey, Glimmer Void, Whisper of the Wilds, Dismantle. You know what I've been doing this? I keep I keep forgetting. You've been watching now for like 17 minutes. How about we get a how about we get a code there? Get you some core 21 booster packs. Alright, we drop this here. And we got Driver of the Dead. Let's see here. Hey, hey, if this was foil, that'd be pretty solid. The Factory. We got the Guild Mage. Twilight Mire. Did we get the whole land cycle? Is that the fifth one? Master of Ethereum. Alice of Master of Mage. Hey, oh, that's so pretty. It's not a rare, but I love it. I love the Urza lands, and there's a foil Urza land. All right, two packs to crack. So... We hit 50 subs. We're past 50 subs. So right now, it's just reminding you to go and find that other video that uh, is probably the video right before this one, and um, make your guess of what MOK stands for. You got till next weekend to uh, to see if you can win that pack, Jack. Uh, see if you can win that pack of uh, the premium. Shards of Alara Foil Booster Pack. Last pack here, and then we got the Box Topper. Let's see what we got. We got the Mine. All right. We got a track. Hey, six. Okay. We got a Traxa. We've got Hannah. The Mordor. The Mordor. The Corridor Monitor. All right. I mean, that felt like a really good box. And here, since I made y'all wait so long, there's another code. All right, apologize for making you wait. As you can tell, we got lots. All right, here we go. I'm pretty sure this should be face down. It is. There we go, this away. Oh, oh, there's two. Okay, so uh, I did not know this. Again, I haven't seen any. I didn't pay attention. Maybe I read it somewhere and forgot it. We have double box toppers. So we'll go with the top card first. I'll set that there. 
Hey, Chrome Mox non foil, though. Darn. It was foil, but still, I'll take it. I'm assuming this has got to be foil. It is not. It's a meddling mage, though. Okay, interesting. Um, so I guess I'll find out in the next box if they um, if they can be foil. If, if they're not foil, I don't know. But hey, there's another mythic. So we have six mythics uh, in the video, or six mythics in the packs. Another mythic and a rare in the... Uh, in the box topper. So remember, go over to the video and guess on what uh, MOK stands for for your chance to win this. And uh, I'm going to cut it here. So as always, it's been fun. Look forward to talking with you. Leave me some comments, likes, subs, shares, whatever you want to do. It's been fun. Deuces.